Rich Inbox Review and Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to review Rich Inbox and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Rich Inbox, you can also use my affiliate link below the description or earn a small commission with no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Rich Inbox, it is a powerful AI-driven cold email outreach platform designed to help businesses boost their sales and marketing efforts, in which it offers a comprehensive suite of features tailored to enhance email campaigns, improve deliverability, and streamline workflows. And the platform's intuitive dashboard and campaign creation flow make it easy for users to set up new campaigns and manage their email outreach activities. And Rich Inbox key features including AI-driven email personalization, high deliverability rates, unlimited email accounts, perpetual email warm-up, and the AI-powered email generator to create tailored sequences. And now to start creating an account on Rich Inbox, you can also click the affiliate link below the description, or you can also click this Get Started Now button on the top right corner, in which you will be able to be directed on this page. And from here, you can sign up or create your account using your Google account, or even fill out all of this required information. And after signing in, you will be able to be directed on this homepage of Rich Inbox in which it will show you on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating with your home, email accounts, campaigns, lead lists, and many more. And under this home page, it will show you how you can set up your account on Rich Inbox. Well, under this email accounts from here, you could also add your email to connect your Google or Gmail account and other email provider. And you could also see on the top right corner of your workspace, but you could also create one by clicking create workspace right here. However, you should have a premium account in order to do so. So you can just upgrade to this growth plan and pro plan if you want to. Now going back on this page, aside from that, you can also navigate on the left side panel, these campaigns, by clicking on it. You will be able to be directed in here, in which it will show you that you can start creating a campaign by clicking this add new button. And after that from here, just enter the name of your campaign. For instance, I'm going to enter here, our sale promo. And by clicking the continue button, we'll be able to be directed on this page right here. And as you can see under this leads section from here, all you need to do is to simply add your leads in which you can drag and drop from CSP file in here. Moving on to sequences by simply clicking on it, it will show in here that you can start creating a sequence from template or create from scratch. And let's say I'm going to click this create from scratch and from here all you need to do is to simply fill out all of the required information such as to add a step one in here, which is creating an email. So for instance, I'm going to enter here under this subject limited edition sale promo and after that below here under this content you can now start creating or typing something about the content of your subject or alternatively you could also click this template icon right here by clicking this one it will show you on this pop-up window some of the email templates that you can choose by here for e-commerce p2b services follow-up case study value preposition and many more but at this point i'm going to choose this lead generation but alternatively if you don't want to use any of this template you could also go back on this page right here and click this icon to add any kind of key such as account signature, first name, last name, and many more. But at this point, to make it easy, I'm just going to use some of this template. So under this lead generation, I'm going to select this kind of template which is promoting a discount or special offer. By clicking this one and clicking this use template button, you'll now be able to see here the template. So from here, we can simply apply or customize some other details including the content and many more. And if you are now done, we can now proceed by adding additional step by clicking this add step button on the left side panel for the step 2. From here, you could also formulate additional kind of email that will be sent and you could also customize this waiting days depending on your preferences. And aside from that, under this email, below here it will show you the editing tools such as to save this as template, to use some variables, preview the email, add additional text, insert a link, images, and even make or input some of the emoji in here. And in here, you could also input an unsubscribe link depending on the type of subject or email that you will be formulating. And now for the step two, we're just going to enter here the subject which is invitation email. And after that, you could also select some other templates by clicking this template icon again, in which from here, I'm going to select this general introduction email by clicking this use template you will be able to see here that it will be applying the content and other context in here. And if you are now done, we can now proceed by going to the schedule section, but make sure that you also save some of the changes in here by clicking the save button below. 
So make sure that you save every content on each step. And after that, we can now proceed by going to the schedule section in which from here we can schedule when do we want to send those kind of email. You can enter here the name of your schedule. For instance, as you can see, I just enter here a promo sale. And after that below, just choose the schedule of time, which is from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And also the time zone in here. And to add more schedule, you could also click this add schedule button. And from here, just choose to fill out or customize the schedule name and also the timings below. And aside from timings, you could also navigate or customize the days that you want for these campaigns to be sent. In which below here, as you can see, we have here Monday to Sunday. But at this point, I'm going to choose only the weekdays, which is Saturday and Sunday. And if you're not done customizing this, just click the save button below. And we can now proceed by going to options section. In which from here, you will be able to see that you could also add a mailboxes by clicking this add mailboxes button. Or you could also select one or more accounts to send the emails from. We have here utilization, health score, and search bar that you could also customize and navigate. And as you can see below, you could also customize or enable or disable the stop sending emails on reply, open tracking to track and open some email, link tracking, this delivery optimization, daily limit, for instance we have here 200 daily limit, which is maximum number of email to be sent per day for this campaign. But I'm going to customize this to 100. And below you could also navigate or customize this time gap between emails with the minimum time and maximum time. For the minimum, I'm going to enter here 2 minutes and the maximum which is 5 minutes. And as you can see, you could also use black loads depending on your preferences. And if you also want to prioritize new leads in here. Now moving on on the top panel under subsequences. From here, all we need to do is to simply enter here as subsequences if you want to aside from the sequence that we just create. However, if you're not done, we can now proceed by launching this campaign by clicking this launch campaign button. Or alternatively, you could also visit this analytics section. From here, you could also track the number of leads connected, the open rate percentage, reply rate, and even some other data in here in line drop, some of your activity, link analytics data, and many more. Now moving on, on the left side panel, we could also navigate this lead list by clicking on it it will show us all of the lists of our leads. However, if you don't have one, you can click this create new lead list button in which on this pop-up window, just fill out the lead list name and click the continue button to proceed. However, in creating a new lead list, make sure that you also have a CSV file in order to drag it in here or upload it in here to add the new lead list. Moving on to one box on the left side panel, from here you could also track some of your lead, interested leads, meeting book, close, out of office, wrong person, not interested, all of your inboxes message, with different kind of statuses in here. Now overall, that is just basically how you can use rich inbox. Thank you.